Morgan and I'm doing my 35 week pregnancy update and I'm exactly 35 weeks today. I can't believe it. It is so close you guys. It's crazy. I hope you all had a great Thanksgiving. As you know I did not do a pregnancy update last week so this is going to be my 34, 35 week pregnancy update. It's pretty much the same. I'm large and tired and got lots of pains and aches just like everybody else when they get to this point. I had a doctor's appointment last Monday, the Monday before Thanksgiving, and we got an ultrasound picture or we got we had an ultrasound and we got some really cute pictures of little baby Jet. We were not able to get really great pictures because he had his hands all in his mouth and everything. But they did check and he is still a boy so I'm glad about that. I always get nervous when I start buying things and they're not gender neutral or anything. So I'm super excited that it's still a boy. They've never gotten the sex wrong but you just never know. But they said it's definitely a boy. But again, you'll never know until they come out. <laughs> My doctor's appointment um, I also saw my doctor and we really didn't do much um, Caleb came for the sonogram and then he had to leave to go back to work so it was just me and my doctor and we kind of talked about a little bit of things since she's not the doctor that's gonna be there when I give birth we really didn't have a lot to talk about because um, like I've mentioned in my other videos she's pregnant too and she's gonna be due anytime now so I will be seeing a new doctor um, I'll actually be seeing him next Tuesday or Monday the 8th whatever day that is I think that's on a Monday I'm really excited because hopefully I can talk to him about some kind of induction or some kind of birth plan in motion um, but uh, yeah, I did talk to her about that and she said that she did talk to my doctor about it and that it shouldn't be a problem about inducing me early. I have not had any more contractions as far as I know. I think I may have had like a few Braxton Hicks, but not a lot. Um, I've had extremely, extremely bad back pain like I always do with all of my pregnancies. Sleeping has been pretty good. Um, I'm still taking my Ambien and every once in a while it doesn't work really that great. So I'm not really sure why. I don't. I don't know. It's I'm taking the same doses at the same time. I don't know. It's strange. I'm drinking lots and lots of water, so you guys should be super proud of me. Um, I've actually noticed that the more water I drink, the more water I crave. So that's a good habit that I've been wanting to start anyways because I know drinking soda is not very good for your body anyways. And it makes you, and it's a lot of calories. So water is into calories and... It's great for you so I want to get into that habit so I'm glad that you know this kind of I'm not glad but one good thing about this whole dehydration baby scare was that it really kicked my butt into drinking more water over the past two weeks I have definitely definitely seen a difference in size even though I've had more than one pregnancy you always think I'm never gonna get that big or I can't get much bigger than this well I'll tell you what that's a lie because you're gonna get bigger um, it's just, I feel ginormous. Everyone tells me I'm small or, um, you know, I have, you know, I just look small or whatever, but I just, I feel ginormous. And especially after I eat, I feel even bigger and I feel just ginormous. <laughs> There's no other word to describe it. And I still have at least five more weeks to go. So it's pretty crazy. As far as any kind of weight gain, um, I haven't gained much weight. I think maybe a lot of that was when I was sick a couple weeks ago. Um, when I, had, I guess I had a stomach bug. I'm not even really sure what it was, but that's what we're going to call it. But I've only gained like 20, 25 pounds so far, so I'm super excited about that. I know it's not important and it's you know, it's what matters for the baby, but if I want to be a selfish a little bit, I don't want to gain the weight back that I had with Ella and even with Reed. I didn't gain much with him, but I just, you know, you want to, you want to back to your old self after you have your baby. And I know that's unrealistic completely, but, um, I like to try to stay positive and I like to, you know, make myself feel good that I haven't gained that much weight. Nursery progress is pretty much zero. <laughs> or pretty much zero. It's 
pretty much where we left off whenever I did, I think, I guess, probably my Ikea haul. I talked to you guys about the crib. Well, it's still sitting in the package. Still hasn't been done. But, to my defense, it has been Thanksgiving and we have been out of town. So, I can't say that much. <laughs> But hopefully we can get the ball rolling. Um, we might try to do some this weekend since we are free this weekend. Um, next weekend um, we'll be free during the afternoon. But I actually do have a baby shower next Saturday. And I'm so, so excited. And I'm really, really thankful for my friend who's throwing it for me. Because we did not think that we were going to get a baby shower this time. Because this is baby number three. And, um... People just don't do it for the third baby. You know, maybe they might do a diaper shower or whatever, but um, we've also changed churches. You know, we've gone back to our old church, so, you know, I didn't, I haven't really reconnected that much with a lot of people, but a lot of people have said they're coming, so I'm super excited about it. And I will definitely either do some video or take some photos of the baby shower whenever that happens, but I'll talk more about that next week. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for these past couple of weeks. Uh, I haven't really been eating much more than normal. Usually at this end of the stage, you don't eat more. You eat a lot less because you don't have a lot of room. I found that I eat quite a few, like, snacks or small meals throughout the day instead of um, drinking, or still drinking, instead of eating um, really big meals. Most of that comes in your second trimester. Because now, me and Baby Jet are fighting for room in my belly. Um, and he is winning, I'll tell you that. I don't know if he has dropped at all. I do feel a lot more pain um, in my crotch and hip area. So I think that he is a little bit lower. Oh yeah, that was the other thing. Um, at my sonogram, they did say that he is head down, locked and loaded. He's not any lower they should be or anything and his feet are definitely up in my ribs and probably is not going anywhere so that's good to hear they also said that my cervix was um, not dilated anymore and it was not thinned out at all so that's really good because we want to wait a couple more weeks for him to finish developing and all that kind of stuff so I was glad to hear about that because of the whole scare when I found out I was one centimeter dilated and all um, she did not physically check me but you know they can find all that out on the sonogram so yeah I guess I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my 35 week belly <laughs> I don't know if I have dropped or anything. Uh, maybe you guys can tell me. I know I didn't do a week video last week, so it's really kind of hard to compare. But you can watch my 33-week pregnancy video and see if maybe he looks like he's dropped at all. I'm not sure. Um, I kind of really wanted him to stay in there for just a couple more weeks. Um, I still have some uh, training to do for the person who is replacing with who's replacing me, so she would be really terrified if I went to labor anytime soon. And we also want to get his nursery at least started a little bit before he gets here. And um, plus, I want him to stay in there for my baby shower next week. And um, yeah, so we just want little Jet to stay in there just a little bit longer. So if you would like to continue along with my pregnancy, um, you make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I promise, I promise I won't be skipping any more weeks, so I will definitely be doing every week update from now on. I'll do my diaper bag video, I'll do my hospital bag video. If I do a hospital bag, uh, I don't know. I know those things are recommended, but... Honestly, if I have an induction, of course, I will have my bag ready before, but you just don't know, and I just hate having things in a bag that I use all the time, you know what I mean? And I don't want to go out and buy, like, you know, different sets, but anyways, um, I'm also going to be doing my birth plan video, and hopefully, hopefully, we'll have a nursery reveal soon. <laughs> Probably won't be anytime soon. 
and it's probably going to be after he's here, but I'm going to try, you guys. We are really, really going to try. But anyway, so if you would like to continue to follow along with our pregnancy and see all of those videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you guys have any comments or questions, please leave them down below. And thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next week when I go to my 36-week doctor's appointment, and I will update you guys then. Bye!